Okay, I'm on the other side of my layout. One of my favorite spots is on that side, but I'm on the other. That's the side. That side over there is where the pieces, I'm telling you, that crossover is no good. And on this side, there's a crossover as well. Because the train switches from this side to that side. But anyhow, we're going to see how this train goes over that freight rail, uh, goes over that crossover down here. Now, we're going to get a good view here. Remember that rail I'm telling you guys about. Listen to the sound when it goes over to this crossover and compare it to the signs of the on this side, but it sounds not like the crossover on the other side. I don't see any bumps. Actually, this one needs to be changed too. I see the weight going up on the bottom, on the bottom there. This guy has to be changed too. There's that crossover right over there. It wasn't making near as much noise as that crossover on the other side. And we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 
13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. 23 bolts. This one needs to be changed too. I see a little bow on this side too, on the bottom. That's why you're hearing that noise. But it's not as bad as the one on the other side. This whole track needs to be changed. You need to put new concrete down here. But that crossover on the other side needs to be changed immediately. I was on my way home, then I figured it myself. I said, you know what? Let me go on the other side of my layout and actually observe the other crossover because I never really observed this crossover, you know, to hear the sound or whatever when the trucks hit the, hit the, uh, hit the rail. But on the other side, you can't help but hear the trucks and the tires hitting the rail because of the, you know, it's, it, you know, it's loud. But anyhow, look at the rail on this side. It's a crossover. And you have one on the other side. Uh, 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 this one, again, she has a little bow on the bottom. But it's not as bad as the other one on the other side. Here, let me show you another one. This is another crossover. This crossover is for this rail here. I, I caught the freight train coming on this rail before. This is another crossover. This is another crossover. Now, how many boats you got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. You got 21 boats in there. That thing is pretty mashed up in there too. But it's all right. It's all right. You know, it doesn't make that noise. It doesn't make that noise as the, uh, the one on the other side. And I know something wrong with it. And like that piece inside of the crossover, that's what the the, uh, the train grabs to put it on the other side. It's not that bad. It's got metal in there. On the other side, it's a little piece in there that looks like it's, it's it comes down like this. And that middle piece over there. But anyhow, that's enough freight trains for the day. You can see the switch shot. The layout where I catch these guys, I like to catch these guys, is on the other side of the bridge. This is mainly the freight line right here, right? But I decided to come on this side because I know that they was going to have these crossover pieces over here. Okay. All right, that's enough freight trains for today. Shout out to Izzy Chef that told me that I caught the veterans Amtrak train today. Man, I was out there and they had two Amtrak uh, high speed coming down after that veteran thing. I guess they was trying to put on the show. It's messing around with my phone and I missed the video, man. That would have been hot. 